We're getting you out to Allie. It's all about the skinny jeans, Allie. It's true. It is all about the skinny jeans. And we're back with Ray Wetterlund, and he is the owner of RW3 Fitness in La Jolla. Hi, Ray. Thanks for being here. Hi, Allie. Thanks okay. for having me. So you're going to help us get into those infamous skinny jeans, especially with the holiday season coming around. So tell me, let's first get into how many calories does the average holiday meal have? Love it. You know, it's it's sickening. The average holiday meal, like a Thanksgiving meal, is actually 7,200 calories, they say. Oh, my goodness. That yeah. is insane. Yeah. It, That's like three days worth, four days worth. People really indulge this time of year and they go overboard with all the sweet treats and, and everything like that. Talk about, there's no moderation there. Oh my goodness, and you say that people should actually use skinny jeans as incentive to maybe not overeat. How, how is that? Yeah, the, the whole thing with the skinny jeans is, you know, a lot of people travel during the holidays, they can take them, take them with them and, you know, like the morning of each day if they want to, however it is, they can put them on and, and see how they look in those jeans and that's going to tell them and dictate how they can eat and the way that they need to train that day. So if they're not fitting at the end of the day, we have a problem. <laughs> we do have a problem. Okay, so let's look at some of these exercises that we that we have going on back here. Tell us about this first one right here. What is she doing? Yeah, so Michelle is doing a, a reverse lunge with a step up and a high knee, basically, exhibiting it in her skinny jeans. And this is a great overall lower body exercise that's going to target working from the hips to the knees. We're working the glutes, we're working the quads, the hamstrings, the glutes. And most importantly, we're getting her heart rate elevated. Mm -hmm. Wow, that looks really difficult. She's been doing that a while. Okay, let's move on to this next one. <laughs> and the next one, we got Jackie right here, and she's doing a figure eight motion, so it's a great core exercise. Jackie, lift those toes, toes to your nose. There it is. Stay laser focused, baby. So she's working her core, and that's a great way to, to really focus in on all those abdominal muscles that and ball have a she has is, stomach. Is that, does that have a weight, or is it just anything you can use? Yeah, to do that's, this? well, that's a, a soft med ball, and that's two pounds, so depending on fitness level, you, you can adjust the resistance accordingly. So she could use a four, she could use a six pounder. And she's know. just doing this in her regular clothes. So you can just take a little break from your holiday meal, sit on the floor and start doing that. That's right, no, no excuses, <laughs> exactly. Okay, let's move on to this next one. What is she doing? And Camry's doing a, a butt lift and she actually has ankle weight on. Oh. And this is a great sculpting and toning exercise to work those bun cakes. Yeah, I can even see when she goes up a little bit, you can see her muscles shaking and that means she's really working it, exactly. right? Exactly, exactly. I learned that the other day. <laughs> Looks great. Okay, what's this next? Wow, those look like heavy weights. And Brooke is, is, she's doing a static side lunge back and forth, a little lower there, Brooke. There you go. So she's lengthening out each side. And this is going to work that pesky, troublesome area to the inner thighs. That looks like a great, so what, what are those um, weights? Those what, are, what those level are eight are pound dumbbells. Okay, so depending eight on pounds. fitness level, you could use threes, fives, eights, tens, baby rattles, you name it. Have some fun with it. And then the inner thigh, that's like a hard area to work. So this is actually interesting because I always wonder how to work that because they have like the machines at the gym, but if you're not at the gym, how do you do it? And voila, here we go. Well, yeah, and the thing with the with the gyms and, and the machines is those are too static and they're mundane and monotonous and they don't really work at all different angles. And so what we're teaching here is true functionality as far as doing these exercises and staying away from using machines. Perfect. Okay, she's been doing that forever. Let's move on to the next one, poor thing. Okay, what is she what is she doing over here? And Megan is she's actually doing a, a gate swing so she's jumping out wide with a band around her ankles so that's gonna work her outer hips her thighs down to her knee she's working her shoulders as well in that movement her core is also engaged mm -hmm. for stabilizing muscles it's a great total body exercise and this is a great way to tone up and fit into those skinny jeans what kind of band is that where can you get something like that you can get those bands at any of your sporting goods stores mm -hmm. also you can get those from like perform better it, or power systems Calm, Do they different um, resistance? Very reputable bands. Yeah, and that's a medium resistance okay. band right there. And she's definitely, oh, I see the she's burn. definitely she's ad advanced. So we need to work her. And I just heard Megan say that she's actually a mom. And if she's been doing this, she looks great. So she's had three kids. Wow. Give it up for Megan. She's <laughs> unbelievable. Give that a try. She does look so great. So I will have my skinny jeans on today to motivate me to, to get into some skinny jean workout yes. and make sure that I'm keeping fit this holiday season. Any other last minute tips? Yeah, one thing that I would say is people need to stick to the Dr. Seuss green eggs and ham rule. So for the holiday season, think about eating your greens and your proteins first. That's going to keep you satiated and full and rather than overindulging on all of your snacks. Another good tip that you can do is you can actually take your meal and have 
half of your plate filled with vegetables, a quarter, protein, and then the last quarter of your favorite sweet treat. Well, great. That sounds perfect. And if you'd like more tips from Ray, you can um, take part in one of his 1,000-calorie burning workouts. You can log on to fox5standard.com for more information. Great. Thank you.